What's up guys, Ruxin34 back here with another video, and in today's video we have a long-awaited binder video. So a lot of you guys have asked me, show us your binder, show us your binder. It's not the best binder ever, but it does have some cool stuff, and you guys have been wanting it, so I'm going to show it. And um, while we're, you know, getting started, I want to go ahead and thank all you guys who are new viewers, um, new subscribers, who came in from either the LOB video, Shadows of Infinity, LOB video, kind of did really well so we got a lot new, a lot of new subscribers so um, I appreciate all you guys being here hope you guys are gonna enjoy the content because we have more epic stuff coming up and let's go ahead and get into this we're gonna open a couple of pieces of mail um, the main reason I'm doing the mail first is because in one of the packages are two cards I'm gonna put into my binder so we'll just go ahead and do it while we're looking at it so um, this right here is not mine um, <laughs> Yugi Mo took the liberty just to send me a card um, that uh, that is his, but uh, little does he know when he sends me a card for free, that means I'm keeping it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but he sent a, or he bought a debris dragon, it looks like. Let's check it out for him. Good old Yugi Mo. He's got a pretty nice YouTube channel as well, so if you guys. This card is useless. Uh, aren't subscribed, go ahead and check him out. So, looks like he got a pretty mint copy of Debris Dragon from Astral Pack 1. So that's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, Yu-Gi-Mo, it's $1.20 for me to ship that, so uh, hit me up. But yeah, <laughs> on, on to the next thing. This is actually, uh, I don't know, I bought this. I think this is what this is. I bought this card and I didn't realize it was creased. So yeah, so not as exciting, excited about it as I was going to be, but still pretty cool. So. Just go ahead and get this out of the way so we can get to the binder. All right. Oh my, what in the world is going on here? I'm really confused by this. Um, all right, I'm not gonna mess with this now, but it it's a Shining Magikarp and it's creased, but uh, yeah, it's really bad. So, not too excited about that, to be honest, but. Um, Shining Magikarp. It was only like 20 bucks. That's I mean, it was so cheap because it was creased, but you know, you know how it goes. So here we go. Here's the real, the real mail here. This is again from Petty Party. He bought, uh, same guy I bought those retro pack blisters from. Um, he hooked me up with a couple of ultimate rares and he recently ma made a massive ultimate rare purchase. So he had a few, uh, ultis. So they slid up. So hopefully they're not damaged. All right, let's get this uh, out of the way. And as you see, we have an unlimited Euro print, shiny, or not shiny, Elemental Hero Phoenix Enforcer. So this is pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and take these out, just so look at them. I think they're supposed to just regular near mint. They're not like mint or anything. So that's the reason they're going in the binder rather than being graded or something. Because if it was like a tin, I would just grade, you know, tin condition, I would grade it. What is going on with this? Is this a side loader or something? What is going on with this? How do you open this thing? There it is. Okay, it was like stuck together from previously being taped or something. Here we go. Europrint Cyber End Dragon. Okay, I need to get back over here. Um, let's get into the binder. Already took forever. I'm going to have to speed up some of that. Um, but the first page, we've got tournament pack. So here's our tournament pack super rares. I don't even know what y'all are seeing right now, but I'm just going to go through it. Tournament pack at the top, we got our supers from TP1. We got TP2. We got our TP3 Needleworm. My other ultras are graded, so this is the only one that's not. Um, then we got more TP right there. We got the B Skull Dragon. Pretty awesome. It's a reprint. After TP2, they, the hollows started being reprints, Some other than the Ultra. The Ultra was always original. After that, they were reprints. So. Um, then you got TP4 supers. Or here's TP5. We got a T, Here's TP4 Morphine Jar. It's pretty awesome. Luster Dragon. TP5. Here are the other TP5. TP6. And then you get to some good ones over here with the TP7 Breaker. The TP8 Dunamis Dark Witch. So all pretty good stuff. As you can see, this is why the binder is kind of awkward. It's because I gotta, gotta move around. Here's some uh, champion pack um, 
supers. If you guys saw the opening, I'm gonna have to post. I mean, I'm recording this before I've show, show the opening, so I'm definitely gonna have to post this after. Um, we got our champion pack four, so we opened those. That was when we got absolutely destroyed and did not get a bottomless, which was unfortunate. Here are our other champion pack two foils that we didn't grade. There's our magician of faith down there. Pretty awesome. These are so these are all mint condition out of the pack. But they're either off-centered or they maybe have like a slight edge wear or something, so I didn't send them. Here is some like interesting, there's a crimp on this card, this botanical lion. Um, here is like some OC stuff, so you see this dimension hole, um, super OC. The Fuchsia Richie on the back, let me just show you guys, is actually insanely OC, it's pretty cool. Okay, check this out. Yeah, look at this thing. It's way off center, which is pretty awesome. So that is why I kept that. It's also first edition, which is pretty cool. Um, then this uh, Dark Spirit of the Silent and the Massive Dispel are actually from. I pulled those, and they had this weird white um, speckles on them. The Massive Dispel I think has the speckles and is off center, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty some good stuff. The next page is some just some random secrets and ultis that I've pulled. Like you remember. I pulled both of those back to back in that uh, special edition opening. Sorry, I'm trying to see over the camera. I had to put it at a different angle. So if my face cam is just me like looking around, that's because I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. Um, the Black Rose Dragon we pulled, uh, just the Ultra Unlimited, but pretty cool. Some some more ultis we pulled. Here's the secrets and ultis we pulled. Just some stuff we pulled, mint condition. Um, didn't grade it for whatever reason. It may or may not have been gradable or else it was unlimited, so I just didn't bother. Um, here's our some Portuguese stuff, stuff that I didn't grade from the Portuguese Metal Raiders. Pulled the Gate Guardian, the Beast Skull. Remember we did that twice. If you guys haven't seen those videos, go check those out. We opened three boxes of that. I actually got a case of that at one point. It's pretty cool. Um, there's more of that. So just going through this binder, there's a lot of memories of what we've done on the channel. Here comes up the uh, the Cursed Legacy of Darkness, which if you don't know about Legacy of Darkness, it's always off center. We opened a 36 pack and a 24 pack first edition box. Zero were gradable. They're all way off center. So here they are. Mint condition cards. We got Air Knight Parshath. We got a Zero Priest. Some good GOAT format cards in here, but just not gradable stuff, unfortunately. So I hope you guys can see some of this. There we go. E Fusion. Yeah, so I, I I pulled a total of 15 hollows and none of them could be could get graded to get a 10. So and then here's some uh Pharaoh Servant. This is from our Genzo box, which is right there. The box that make sure you guys check out the Pharaoh Servant opening. I opened a first edition Pharaoh Servant box. We pulled a Genzo, a graded a 10. Um, got some supers right here from that box. Ancient Sanctuary, I've opened multiple boxes of that. I think three. Here's some hollows we pulled. Um, check this Check this out, guys. Um, this Dark Magic Attack, we pulled straight from a box of first edition Ancient Sanctuary, and I didn't notice it in video. But here, look at it, Pack Fresh. Look at this corner. Yeah, that's pack fresh. That's right out of the pack. I opened it, I put it on a sleeve, and the sleeve, the corner was so messed up that the sleeve touched it and just ripped off the corner. Like, it was already messed up, but it just finished it off. So I was like, wow, that's great. So that box, I think that box graded no 10s. It graded an 8, or two 8s, and then 9s, and then that card. So that card would be like a 6, so that was terrible. Then we got our counterfeit UDE um, cards. If you guys don't know what the UDE thing is with the fake flame swordsman, and f or counterfeit, not really fake, um, counterfeit, you check out my video and my Yu-Gi-Oh! discussions page. If you guys haven't watched any of the videos on my Yu-Gi-Oh! discussions page, I've been referring people there a lot because I have a lot of videos like uh, difference between hobby and retail box, um, which a lot of you guys have asked recently. Um, how can I tell if my LB cards are fake? That's in there. And then it talks, there's talks about this as well. So here's a card blocker I pulled. This was before I was I had a YouTube. Well, I had a YouTube channel. I just didn't open stuff, so I opened a random blister and got that. Here's some blank pages that are just kind of sitting there. Here is our LOB Portuguese first edition box. So we pulled that secret rare. I did grade the red eyes we got in there. I think we got a red, we got a red eyes, didn't we? Yeah. So I pulled red eyes in the first edition LOB and Portuguese first edition LOB. So pretty cool. Um, here's Mega Charizard, I just think that card's cool, and it's really cheap. Um, a DB1 Premature, I'm not sure why that's right there. Well, I have a lot of DB1 cards in here that I'm definitely going to take out soon. So, see, I, I used to be collecting, or I, I guess I still am, but I was collecting DB1 cards, so I have all these DB1 Ultra Rares. We actually pulled this one out of a Dark Beginning 1 box, which is pretty cool, so go check that video out. Um, 
Oh, MST, that might be nice to just throw in some go format as a super. It's pretty cool. Um, so I kind of have a lot of dark beginning cards. Uh, Makiura, I think he just got an errata, so that's interesting. So he might be playable at some point. He's still banned. But uh, I'm going to take these out whenever I get some better stuff. Because this stuff isn't worth too much, but it's all really cool old school foils. Which is nice. We pulled an Imperial Order out of that box as well. That was kind of a bummer. Lava Golem. Pretty cool. Dark Revelation. We pulled that in the Dark Revelation opening. So make sure you guys check that one out. Dark, Dark Magician of Chaos. I bought that from somebody on Instagram. I can't remember who it was. Oh, and I have a DR1 Breaker. I didn't even know that. <laughs> See, I don't even know I have this stuff. So that's pretty cool. Some good stuff. Oh, here comes some cool stuff. So here we got uh, a test print card and a test print. Um, I can't remember what the difference is between these. I think this is maybe hollow or something. I don't know. But pretty cool test print cards. That's what they use to print the actual cards and make them. Then we got this because Magician of Chaos looks cool. And then we got this cool uh, black Magician card. More DB1 and DR1 and stuff. So got a lot of those. This is just really hurting my arms to hold this up. We got some ultimate rares, and here you go. Ultimate rare arm dragon level five. I pulled this a long time ago in a pack battle against Yugi Mo. And yeah, we're just always beating up Yugi Mo. So um, that was just absolutely epic. Um, super cool pull. I didn't pull this one, but I bought this one from somebody on Instagram. Really awesome looking card. And then here's where we're gonna put in our uh, we're gonna put in our two new cards. So we got that Elemental Tempest Unlimited Ultimate. Then we got Chaos Emperor Dragon, which I'll tell you guys about that in a second. Let's go ahead and sneak these in here. We got a Chaos, or not Chaos, Cyber End Dragon. And so we got a nice Elemental Hero uh, top row right there. Ultimate Rare is pretty cool. Then we have the Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End. This is the exact card that I pulled in the first product I bought coming back in 2018. I went to Walmart. And I, I saw the Duelist Pack Kaiba and Duelist Pack Yugi box, the one with the starter deck in it and the six packs. And I pulled this. I pulled this and a Dragon Master Knight in the same pack. And I didn't even realize, I, I knew Dragon Master Knight was cool because I remembered it, but I didn't know about Chaos Emperor Dragon when I was you know, a kid, just because I just didn't play meta or anything. So I was like, oh, that card looks cool. I didn't know what an ultimate rare was either, so I, I just had it. So this card I pulled myself, and it's pretty awesome. I'm not going to get rid of it just because of what it meant. The very first pull I got. Pretty cool. Power Tool Dragon, Ghost Rare. Got some more ultis that I found. Phantasmal Martyrs is really cool artwork. Pretty cheap, though. Here's some more stuff. We picked up this uh, Horus the Black Flame Dragon recently. Um, this this Ghost Rare we picked up from Old School Expert. The uh, We also picked up the, the uh, Draco Knight Aquist, or whatever it's called, and the creator from him. This Penumbral Soldier Lady, if you haven't seen this Soul of the Duelist opening, just go watch it because, yeah, it's very sad. And then we got some more Ultimate Rares in here. So, you know, the, the binder's not insane, but there's some cool stuff in it. There's some more uh, more Ultimates, and then some another secret we pulled down there. Or maybe, did we pull that? I can't remember if we pulled that or if I did it. And here's some uh, Duelist Pack Kaiba stuff from that open Duelist Pack Kaiba box I bought. It just had all the pulls for some reason. And then we got another counterfeit Flame Wing Man that was actually given to me by a viewer. And this was also given to me. So here's the viewer page. We got a couple of cards. So uh, that's it for the binder. Um, I had to kind of go a little bit faster because one, I'm holding it up. It's very awkward. I hope you guys could see it um, for the most part because there's some pretty cool stuff in there I think you guys would like. And I don't think I did the giveaway for this video. So if you stayed to the end, here's the giveaway. We've got a Storm Shooter, Cyberdark Impact, a Max Warrior from Stardust Overdrive. That always stumps me for some reason. SOVR. And then a Force of the Breaker Winged Rhino. So if we, you guys waited to the end of the, or watched the end of the video, and um, do me a favor, hit the like button, and I give away these to one of you guys that mentions that they made it to the end of the video. And I appreciate all you guys for watching. It's been a lot of fun recently, and we're going to keep doing some pretty awesome stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Peace. Secret! <laughs>